All right, Coach, congrats. Couple wins, a historic one there with Ava Justman throwing a no-hitter or second as a night. Just uh, overall thoughts. Yeah, uh, really good to just play free like we did today. Um, our pitchers have been really throwing well, um, all of them, the last, I would say, two or three weeks. So I'm very pleased about that. And I like how we got some offense from everybody in the lineup today. So um, not only a historic win and um, no hitter, but you know somebody's important 600th call, um, calling of our games. Um, so what better way to do it with a no hitter? Give you something to talk about, Elo. <laughs> <laughs> what was it like coming into this one? Because very unique circumstances. You had the game called off, uh, called off uh, back on March third. Weeks, many weeks later, coming back, Aubrey coming with a runner on second. Like, have you ever had a situation like that happen before? I have never played in a game like that. So, um, we, it was so cool how prepared we were because we saved all of our documents from the game in a folder, um, and then Adam Darusha had the. Um, situation like posted up so everyone knew what the situation was going to be for the last couple of days um, and so we could visualize like what it was going to look like and I mean Aubrey just perfect I think she had three doubles today maybe um, and to lead lead off the game in the second inning uh, today uh, with that double was just I mean it, it looked like we had practiced it and we did we talked about it we talked about what it was going to look like and um, they just hit the ground running with it so very pleased with how they approach it because I've never been a part of starting a game like that do you remember anything from from the the, the for the original few innings on, Mar on March 3rd <laughs> 52 days ago um, I forget a lot in those that amount of days but um, no Sammy Del Hoyo reminded me that she um, the catcher threw her out when she was stealing um, and I was like oh I don't even remember that because I think think Sammy so fast I don't know who could throw her out but they did um, and so then at that point I had to go back and look at our box scores and uh, thankfully our SID, uh, Ryan Latica, gave me um, the play-by-play -play, uh, so we could just kind of like remember what happened um, from 52 days ago. Right, so when you talk about preparation, not only are you playing a game that happened 52 days later, you're talking about a team that is different, completely different. They had over on a 16-game losing streak at the time and now they have 15 wins and kind of getting their pace back. Uh, how does that change the preparation when you're facing almost a different team? Yeah, yeah, and it, it, it definitely looked like a different team too, totally. So um, I think the best thing, the best way I can answer that is that we are really focused on playing against ourselves. Um, and we're going to have to do that because the next few games that we have coming up are, are really big, not only because of who we're playing, but what time of year and what it means um, to finish in conference and then go into the head into the conference tournament so I I think this was the best practice of um, playing against our best self not the name on any shirt um, and continuing to, to compete and get better every day every pitch what made you uh, decide to go Ava there she said you told her literally five minutes after the, the completion of the first yeah. game well she was um, supposed to come in relief and Truth be told, I was probably, if um, we were gonna get out of it quick and we knew that we were gonna get out of the game quick the first game, I was probably gonna start Grace in the second game um, just because it wasn't a lot of innings. Um, but then when we, I felt like she threw enough pitches, I didn't wanna rest her for 35 minutes and then bring her back again. So at that point, I thought it was a good idea um, to just kind of forego Ava coming in at the end and starting that game because she had already gotten hot and. You know, why not use her when she was working her stuff in the bullpen? And she's been looking really good in practice uh, live against hitters. Um, and so it was her time. And it worked out. Her it second did. appearance in a row with a no-hitter involved for her. Not yes. many nights have done that. Only a few. Shelby, I think, is the last one. The only other one that's done in back-to-back -back appearances. What did you see from her that was working so well? Yeah, she's... What I really like about what she's done um, and what she's working on is being able to throw to both sides of the plate. As a lefty, that's so difficult to hit because usually people just talk about like the lefty movement coming into a righty or going away to a lefty. Um, but now she's really dominating that other side of the plate as well. So there's you can't cheat it. And when that happens, um, look out. And then you know her off speed was on today, so um, that makes my job as pitch caller 
a little bit simpler. <laughs> You had uh, three of your players walk away with uh, Swords, the Swords Awards last night. Jada Cody, of course, won it, getting scholar, Women's Scholar Athlete of the Year with her Order of Pegasus. So what, considering this is her senior year, what has it meant to have Jada on this team and get a chance to see her honored like that, not just for not just for just everything she's done with here at UCF? Yeah. On field and otherwise. Well, there was quite a few seniors that got selected for some awards, whether they were uh, nominees or won the awards. Um, and I think that just really speaks to the competition within our athletic department, which is so amazing. Um, but then the fact that they were nominated, um, and there's so many different seniors that were nominated. It's, it's pretty cool as a coach to say that, you know, you, you kind of think that you've done some things right because you've recruited great people. Um, and then we've, we've done, done some and played some really good softball along the way. Um, so I feel blessed and definitely heart is um, full with just how much these women care so much about thriving themselves, having the people around them thrive, um, our athletic dep department thrive, um, and just like really loving the game of softball and um, including the community in it. And, and that's, you can't find that, all those pieces and how competitive they are, really rare to find. So I feel blessed. What do these wins mean to you after the after the weekend in Waco, and then coming into arguably you you know you mentioned a big week the series, not just on who you play, but the time of year you're playing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, any win is great. Um, it is tough to win nowadays because, again, I've been saying this all year, but there's the the level playing field across the country has been pretty amazing. Um, anybody can be anyone at any given day, and we've sa I've said that ever since I've played, but like it has truly shown this year um, in our game. And so you take wins when you can get them because it's really tough to win. And that showed this past weekend. I thought we played some really good ball. We had, you know, tying run, winning run, um, go ahead run, all of those things on base for us and it just we just didn't get the clutch hit when we needed it and we squared some balls up and they made some really great plays on us so um, again we've been on the other side where those things have dropped and we've we've ended up winning the game and right now we're still just we have to keep pushing through so again winning is is important um, and yeah to have that momentum going into this weekend is going to be huge one more coach Oklahoma obviously that's gonna be a lot of focus been sold out for months but it's also sold out because these seniors on the senior weekend and fitting that this is a historical weekend linear television is going to broadcast their last you know senior day uh very appropriate for the senior class yes um and it's so true elo i think you know people could think oh what a tough go having senior weekend and you're playing the team that has won their last game every year uh for the last three years um but i believe that that's how our seniors would want it uh, because it's the best competition. It's going to be the, you know, some of the best softball played. Um, and that's what they came here to do. So um, for them to be able to play their last game at home um, on ESPN, um, linear television, I, I got to learn the, the terminology, but um, it ju it's just really exciting. And again, I, I think all the work that they've put into it, they deserve it. Um, and what they have put into it, they definitely get paid back. So, um, yeah, again, proud coach. Thanks, Thanks for this weekend, coach. Thank you.